Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey guys. So today we're going to be talking about Derek Jackson because he made a comeback on YouTube. So we just kind of wanted to give our thoughts on that. But before we do, go ahead and grab your drink. Hey, toast with us, guys. You're listening to Tash and Nix. All right, Nicole. I can't wait to be able to toast again in person. I know. It sounds it's it's not the same if you can't actually hear it clean. It really is. It it's it's different. It's even different because we have to remember to pause. We have to remember to like give each other time to respond. If there's a lag, we're like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it sucks. But we'll be back recording next week. Um, next weekend, actually, thankfully. So. Yeah. So before we start talking about Derek, I actually want to show you uh, just a couple of minutes of what he posted to his YouTube channel last week. Yeah. Wait, let's go fast. What's good, y'all? Derek Jackson here. So earlier I got a DM from this dude, and I've got that because, you know, the climate and stuff. But this guy, I think he was starting out being encouraging and just showing love, and then it went on to him venting about his personal relationship. Uh, think about three or four years that's been going on and he's just frustrated because the woman that he's with ain't quite the woman that he fell in love with. Like the last four or five months, she just ain't been very respectful. She ain't been very kind. Um, she just seems emotionally unavailable. She don't want to talk much. She want to keep her distance. She ain't having sex with him. All these different things. And like I said, his conclusion was that she's just changed. But the more detail I read about his situation, the more I just thought like this sound more like a woman mentally checked out, even though she's physically there which is a lot of times how a woman will leave. She will mentally check out first and then physically leave. And I'm not saying but that's just what it is. Now, my personal and professional experience, I've never seen this happen for no reason. I've never seen it happen just because a woman's character just took a nosedive or her values just completely flipped upside down. You know, if there's not a betrayal or a depression or something like that going on, she may not have fully given up yet on the relationship, on the future of the relationship, but she's finding safety right now in being emotionally removed because trying to love into this relationship for whatever reason, it don't feel safe anymore. So that's where she's just kind of staying until she can figure something out or until something changes. Now, the reason why that might happen, if there's nothing drastic going on, no huge betrayal or anything like that, one reason might be because she's burnt out. She, she's just perpetually tired and perpetually tired, burnt out, stretched thin women have a hard time being emotionally available. Definitely being sexual. Like your wife. Their emotions are attached <laughs> to, you know, how they get sex and, you know, whenever they have sex and stuff like that. But it takes energy, man. It takes energy. It took a lot of energy for me to listen to that. Hey, yeah. Nick. I'm just going to stop right there because I just can't take his BS. I like, can't. it's not like what he says isn't, like, wrong. It's just a messenger. And then, like, I can't stop thinking about the fact that he's in his car probably on his way to another bitch's house. Exactly. Be right on the way to some more coaching. You know what I mean? <laughs> Gonna take the family car there. You know what I mean? Even though, like, I've never really watched him like that. I've always just kind of seen clips of him here and there, but I've never followed him. He has a lot of supporters, like, still. Do you think he'll be able to make, like, a successful comeback? Hmm. I think for me, the problem with Derek Jackson is the fact that he's, after all this time, still not humble. I feel like the bullshit that he's already put out there to like address, you know, his followers and people who don't follow him um, was not really much of an apology. I mean, I feel like people can be more forgiving to those who actually take responsibility of their actions mm -hmm. and set forth a plan to go forward. Like, in my opinion, the only thing Derek Jackson should be doing is talking about how, what he's doing to fix himself and to fix his relationship with his wife. Like, I don't want to hear, I don't listen to him anyways, but I'm definitely not interested now. And I, I just don't want to hear anything else he has to say. I mean, I think a lot of his fans liked him. Um, and I think he did you know, retain a lot of his fan base, but I think he definitely lost a lot as well. And from this point forward, without him coming forward being humble, it's going to maintain, it's going to be the same. You know what I mean? Like people are still not going to fuck with him, you know? Right. I think it's funny because the comments on that video were lighting him up. They were like, well, you should know. And they were like, take a break. Like, you're on to begin already. Like, a lot of them were pretty negative, but it's like a comment is still a comment on YouTube. That still really helps his, like, 
algorithm as far as yeah. like being seen. So even though they're commenting like negative stuff, they're still kind of like helping his videos at the same time. True. Because you know how they say any pre all press is good press. You know what I mean? Even if it's bad, it's just you gotta you kind of have to get ahead of the, the the bad press when it's bad. And I just feel like he's not done a good job of doing that. I mean, yeah, people are commenting and stuff, but at the same time, I'm like whatever i'm sure he's lost sponsors i'm sure he's lost a lot of things i don't know if they need to have a red table talk i'm not really sure what needs to happen but just everything going forward out of his mouth to me it just bullshit like what did the comments say that you read so let me go back and read some of them they were pretty funny actually so like try to include his wife on his channel now yeah that would be interesting so somebody said, well, he'll definitely have all the answers now. It's called personal experience. <laughs> yeah. And there's, there's a lot of comments that are like agreeing with him, doing a little hand claps. Some people are so like retarded. I don't, I don't get it. Somebody said you've got more panda in you than South Central China. I guess they mean pandering to women. Oh, I was like, oh, I don't get that. Now I want Tiny Sweet, but go on. And let's see. Dang, some of them are like actually really like, yeah, you're not wrong, facts, stuff like that. Are they females or males? Oh, females. Somebody was like, welcome back. <sighs> Oof. They probably just want a chance to suck his dick. Yeah, I think that back. Actually, a lot of them, these are like positive. Yeah, there are like a few that are like saying stuff, but a lot of them are still positive. Let me see how many like subscribers he still has if he's lost any. Well, that's crazy. I wonder, I mean, because I don't follow him, so I wouldn't know what he had before this thing happened and then what happened after the fact. I mean, we all fall short of, but we're talking about the Lord, I guess, since that's, he talks about God a lot. We all fall short of God's glory. So we all do deserve a chance to be redeemed. We have a chance at redemption. It's just that you also have to go forward being humble. <laughs> and I just feel like he's not, you know? Yeah. I feel like a lot of people though use like oh, God forgives us all just for an excuse for you to like keep fucking up and then have that yeah. fall back on. Yeah, you have to have accountability. You can't, yeah. you, you cannot tell me sorry with words at this point. You have to use actions to tell me that you're apologetic. So I just, like we were in the shade, well, we were on the shade room and um, someone had brought up like an old, so messy, mm -hmm. an old video of him. And then he writes underneath it. And I'm like, nigga, why? Yeah, just he was like, up. he was like, however you may feel about me, what I said, everything I've ever said is so facts. Like, get off of the internet, please, and like never come back. He should just disappear and like never come back. But I think he's gonna make a comeback. He still and has he right. still has seven hundred sixteen thousand subscribers. Like, you know how long it takes to like build that many subscribers? That's like years of work. And I don't think he's lost many, to be honest. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I guess we could always find out. I'm sure there are people who keep track of nonsense like that. But at the same time, like I said, I mean, it is different because he had already had that fame prior to, you know, being exposed. And I mean, and he clearly was doing dirt for quite some time before people came forward, you know? Yeah. The, mo the person I feel the, the, the worst for is the wife and the children. And really more so the children than the wife, because I'm not about to sit here with my bonnet on, you know, looking meek with holding my husband's hand to like affirm his position in my life. Like, girl, one woman, maybe I could forgive, but multiple women, I don't, and I'm, not, and I'm being very loose with forgive. Because yeah. I think I would be extremely mean after that. So it just, it wouldn't work out, but. I don't know. Yeah. I don't think he's women and pregnancy allegations. Like you said, maybe for the sake of a marriage, I'd be able to forgive yeah. one mistake. 
But even then, I'd feel like we have to go to counseling and I'm going to be pissed off for a while. Like you're going to need to prove yourself to me again. So that's just how it would be. But and it would only be for the sake of marriage and if I have children with that person, because yeah. in a regular relationship where you're not married, you don't have any kids. Nope. I, I don't understand that for the life of me. I know girls who literally are not married, have zero kids and their boyfriends, you know, are trash. They've cheated on them and they forgive them. And I'm like, you do know that you could go somewhere else, right? <laughs> Especially if you're young, like if you're in your right. 20s still and you're in situations like that, bitch leave. Like you think it's going to get any better going down the line? Like it's just not. So mm -hmm. just leave. I mean, and, and start over. I mean, you have time. You're not in the danger zone quite yet. So, <laughs> um, so you know, I mean, you are, even if you are in the danger zone and you single with no kids and it's just a relationship, I think you should leave. You should like, right. and I think what happens is people or women, they get to a point where like they can't do any better. And that's really sad to me, but at the same time, like maybe eventually your man will act right. But if you go on and you marry that man, you are literally going to get the same thing because you accepted it in your relationship, you know? Yeah. So that's just me. Yeah. I just like the only thing I would want to fight for is a marriage. But as far as relationship, if we ain't got no ties like that, then it would just be yeah. a done deal. I'm good. Yeah. Do you know any Derek Jacksons yourself? Like anyone that you can think of male wise and either you dated or you just know who literally fakes the funk, who pretends that they're such good guys, but the truth is, is that they're trash. I think it's just kind of like, in my experience, a lot of like church men are like that. Ooh. Like you'll see them on Instagram, like quoting scriptures and like mm -hmm. doing all that. And uh, you deserve this queen. And then, you know, in real life, he dicks down the community. Like oh. he's a community's father. <laughs> Pastor penis. Yeah. And you would never think that because he seems so different, like online and stuff like that. Yeah. Do you I know anything about that? For sure. <laughs> I definitely, I, oh, this is so juicy. Hope she doesn't get mad at me for telling the story. But she, but the thing is, I'm here for it. I know a girl whose father was a pastor and he definitely was giving out the D to somebody else. And we were both young at this time. I think I was like 19 and she was 18 or I was just about to turn 20 and she was 18 or something like that. I think we met when she was 17, right? Oh. And we ended up becoming um, roommates and stuff. So anyway, <laughs> girl, her dad, we found out her dad not only like messed with someone in their congregation, but got the girl pregnant. Okay. So I was livid because, you know, this man has already an established family. He has children. Like he's supposed to be a pillar of the community. And you're out here with a woman getting her pregnant. You know, do you know me and my friend went to her house <laughs> at nighttime and we painted a big ass red A on the side of her house that faced like the busy street for adulterer. Oh my God. I'm pretty sure we painted other stuff like whore, you know, like in her house. I mean, but the A was huge, like a huge scarlet oh, wow. letter, like I put a huge like circle. So people are like driving by, we're like, <laughs> so I know she woke up to such a horrible sight, but it was so funny because, you know, I was a ride or die because she was hurt, you know, and I felt bad. Like when my friends are hurting, I I feel bad. So I'm like, we're yeah. going to go do something about this, you know? <laughs> Yeah, we definitely did that to her. And she was like devastated. She woke up the next morning and called him. Oh, it was. And like, oh, hold on. Here's the kicker. The dad was like, he called her and was like, I know it was you. I know you did that. <laughs> so and she's like, okay, I'm what you're talking about. <laughs> right. Okay. Like, but yeah, I remember you've been cheating. Like, exactly. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's, it is what it is. But I just feel like, you know, I remember in that instance, I remember her mom and her mom was really like, I don't know how to explain her. Before I knew all this was going on, she was very mean. You know, like that's the best way I can describe it. Her energy was just mean, Yeah. you know? And I won't go into detail about that. I'll have to talk to you about that later. 
Um, but she, her energy was not good. And it could be because, you know, she'd been turning a blind eye to, the, to his issues, his situation. Like, you know what I mean? He wasn't putting his family first. He didn't prioritize them. He wasn't w living in the word that he was preaching, you know? So, but yeah, I definitely remember that and I would do it again. Um, but I mean, I know another guy like that too, married and sleeping with all, all of North Houston. You know what I'm saying? So, what? you know what I mean? Like, but still putting up that front for everybody, but go off, you know, talking about God. All right. Anyway, What's anyway. crazy is like those type of church scandals happen all the time. I remember when I was little, like we had a pastor that he, he was cheating on his wife and he was telling like people, oh, he was, couldn't come to like Bible study or whatever because he was visiting somebody in the hospital suspicious about about it because it's like every week he's like oh i'm visiting this person or doing this or doing that and they found out he was actually like going to see another woman and his wife, his wife's still with him to this day he left our church but he's now the pastor at another church i just hate to see it bye yeah i feel like you should this be banned from being a pastor at that point like they need to just, yeah like you need like to just be all facts like i feel like nobody is perfect right but when you choose that role when you're placed in that position you have a job and a duty to carry out and you you have to do it to because you are held to a higher standard we do have to remember that we cannot put faith in man we can only put faith in god that's something we have to remember but um infidelity is inexcusable in a marriage and that's a fact if you're a Bible believing human being, then that's something you should live by. It is inexcusable. It's one of the grounds for divorce, you know, because mm -hmm. God grants divorce only in very certain situations. So um, to me, it's just inexcusable. And especially if you are a person in a position like that, then play your position, you know, like step down and be different, you know, like I don't know why that is and why it's so big in our community where we see pastors, um, you know, stepping out of their, I guess, you know, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, not comfort zone, but stepping out of who they're supposed to be, represent, you know? But it's not just our community, because we definitely see in the Catholic Church, those priests and stuff are doing, you know, stuff to to other people, et cetera, you know, like, there's a lot of stuff going on. And I don't know if it's like, because they're repressed. I really don't know what the issue is, you know, but right. I feel like with Derek Jackson, you put yourself in this certain light and you should act according. Regardless mm -hmm. of it, they're going through stuff. Like marriages, people go through stuff. Does it mean you go out and get your dick sucked and, and get somebody pregnant? Like go to therapy. <laughs> or like with Derek, like just be honest, be like, hey, I've done these things in the past and talk about how you've like grown to a better person. Like you can yeah. spend it several different ways, but you like get on YouTube acting like you're like one of the rare men out here yeah. that just know how to treat a woman, but you're doing that behind the scenes. It doesn't make sense. Like to me, if I was a woman that really followed him, I just would lose faith in that situation at this point, because there are a lot of women who really follow him and believe the words he say, but they're still single, you know, so maybe you shouldn't follow him, you yeah. know, like, I don't know, read the Bible for yourself, you know, do work on yourself inward. Um, I don't know if he talks about therapy and stuff like that, but um, I don't know. I just I just think Derek Jackson isn't the way. You know? Yeah. And it's like the women that listen to him, they still single because he gives like outrageous like demands. He puts outrageous demands on men. It's like he don't love you if he's not doing for you what Michael B. Jordan is doing for Lori Harvey. Like most men didn't got Michael B. Jordan money. They don't. So like, just, or what? Just because somebody's buying you like a Birkin bag and shit doesn't mean that they love you. Like if they have money to just do that for any woman out there, is that really that special that he does that for you? Like, yeah, he can spend money on anybody. That's what he does. Yeah, I just yeah. feel like he's trash, and I'm tired of hearing anything he has to say. And I wish people, but I mean, even the shade room posting him, you know, created more buzz around him. So I guess again any yeah. publicity is good publicity because you Crazy. might get your name out there a lot of people are going to subscribe to him even if they like absolutely hate him because they want to be nosy 
Yeah. Um, so if y'all are watching this and like, I don't like those bitches, sub subscribe just to be nervous. You know? Yeah, who cares? You know what I mean? Talk to about hate women. Women. Oh. Care. Okay, <laughs> go to hell, but still come to watch. You know what I'm saying? Give me some tips. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck. If you can't stand our ass, just subscribe so you can come back and continue. That like <laughs> <laughs> so you can keep hating us. You know what I mean? You can find a new thing to hate us about every week. Every week. Like, <laughs> and like the video. <laughs> I don't know if people hate us yet. We've definitely had some comments every now and then or some dislikes. I remember the first dislike we had. We were like, what the fuck? We had a comment that, that I actually deleted. I'll tell you about it once once we stop. I'll tell you about oh, it. Oh, you did? You had to delete it? Yeah. Oh, no. I was about to go to his YouTube and blow I actually did. I went and like disliked all his videos because I was being petty. As he said that, I was like, oh, this motherfucker, but I'll, I'll tell you about it later. But I feel yeah, like that's, that's all, all the opinion I have on on Derek. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> well, all right, y'all. Thank you so much for joining us for another conversation. Until next time. Bye. Don't forget Bye. to like and subscribe to us, guys. Please do, even if you hate us. <laughs> Bye.